Hi. Today I will talk about special alert, Zika virus which you need to know. The Aids mosquito can spread Zika virus in addition to dengue fever and chikungunya virus. The virus was first spotted in the Americas in 2014. The mosquito-borne Zika virus has spread quickly in the last two years through the Pacific Islands and South America. Although there have been no reported deaths from the illness, a spate of recent outbreaks is cause for concern. Why is it called Zika virus? Because it was first found in the Zika forest in Uganda. Earlier this fall, after Colombia reported its first cases of Zika virus infection, the World Health Organization recommended countries in North and South America step up efforts to identify and track the virus. Cases have been reported in the Yucatan and Mexico and the Caribbean. Doctors in Brazil are trying to determine if the virus may be linked to a spike in the number of babies with a congenital brain deformity called microcephaly. What is the Zika virus? Zika virus infection can cause Zika fever, an illness often accompanied by rash, fever, joint pain and conjunctivitis. It is spread by the same mosquito species that carries the dengue and chikungunya viruses. Severe illness happens less often with Zika infections than with dengue infections, but while Zika virus infections have been recognized for some time, large outbreaks have only been recognized within the last decade and we are still trying to understand the full spectrum of illness, says Susan Hills of the Center for Disease Control's Division of Vector-Borne Diseases. Where did it come from? After it was first described in 1952, Zika virus sporadically infected people in Africa and parts of South and Southeast Asia. Just 14 cases were reported in about 50 years. Then, in 2005, Zika virus was spotted for the first time outside Africa and Asia on Yap, an island in the western Pacific Ocean. The virus subsequently spread to other island nations in the Pacific and eventually landed in the Americas on Easter Island in Chile in early 2014. Brazil reported Zika virus infections in May 2015 and since then, health authorities there have found the virus in 14 different states. In October, Colombia reported its first cases and last week, the virus was reported in Yucatan, Mexico, and in the Caribbean. No cases have been reported in the United States. And although there are Aids mosquitoes in parts of the country, the likelihood of a future outbreak is low. How is it spread? Zika virus is primarily spread by several different species of Aids mosquitoes. There have been reports of Zika virus being spread parentally, from mother to infant either during birth or soon afterwards. Authorities also worry that it might be spread via blood transfusions. The virus can be spread sexually too, though only one case of sexual transmission has been documented. Mosquitoes, however, are by far the major avenue of spread and the focus of prevention strategies. What are the symptoms? Only one in five people infected with Zika virus experience symptoms. Those who do get ill usually report fever, rash, joint pain and conjunctivitis, and sometimes headaches muscle pain and vomiting. The illness lasts about a week. Cases severe enough to require hospitalization are rare and no deaths have been reported, but the virus has been linked to some alarming complications. During a French Polynesian outbreak in 2013, a few people developed Guillain-Barre syndrome after Zika virus infection and Brazilian authorities are investigating if the virus causes microcephaly in fetuses of infected pregnant women. Babies with a defect are born with underdeveloped brains. Health authorities are still investigating Zika's role in both conditions. Treatment and cure? There is no treatment for Zika virus infection. Painkillers and fever reducers help manage the symptoms until the infection clears, usually in about a week. How do we stop it? Prevent mosquitoes from breeding in standing water near dwellings, promote the use of window screens and bed nets and encourage people to wear long sleeves and pants. Our source, Susan Hills of the Center for Disease Control's Division of Vector-Borne Diseases.
Please click the link in description to know more. Bye. Please subscribe to JoanBars.com and get a free 10-page weight loss report. There's the picture of what you'll see when you get to the site. Also, check out our new ebook store at JoanBars.com. We offer some really good ebook information on carbohydrate eating, on fat loss, on all kinds of subjects. Take a look. Go to SaturdayDiet.com to learn about our low-cost weight loss e-courses. You know, we sell quite a few of these every week, and uh, you should be taking advantage. We have three levels, 27, 47, and 89, which offer different subjects and different volumes of information. Please subscribe and share our information with everyone on your email list. While you're at it, please like us on Facebook.com forward slash Saturday Diet. Again, I hope this information will help you going in the right direction and finally getting control of your weight loss. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Please leave comments in the comment section. Bye-bye.